Welcome back to Monto Properties YouTube channel. My name is Frank Ilo and I'm the lead consultant for Monto Properties and Investment Limited. It is our vision to provide you profitable real estate investment opportunities to all our investors. Okay, now in this video, I want you to join me as we take a tour to see this residential gated estate, which is currently sold out in Shongote Do Okomopo Axis. And this property, many people are skeptical because they have been wondering what is the status of this property as against the ongoing Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Many people bought this property with the intention that they are definitely going to be reaping a high return on investment due to the Lagos Coastal Road. But today, we've been experiencing a lot of joy and also um, on some axis, a lot of pain because of the demolitions that is currently ongoing due to this coastal highway. But here in this video, I know that many people are interested in knowing about Metro Bay and how this Lagos Coastal Road affects this particular estate. And I'll also be sharing with you the current update in this property called Metro Bay. I'm also be sharing with you what you need to do before you buy a property facing the highway or facing the major road. And also do not forget to like, share, comment on this video. And please, if you have not subscribed yet, please do not forget to subscribe right away and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever we bring updates on our channel, you will be the first to hear about it. So, so why don't you join me as we visit this estate, Metro Bay in Shongote Do, Lagos, Nigeria. Keep watching this video to the end. If you have a property close to a major road or close to 
um, a power line or close to an ocean or a lagoon or a river? What are the setbacks set by the Lagos State Building Control Agency? So especially if you're buying properties in Lagos. According to the Ministry of Physical Planning, which you can find this on their website, a setback is a distance to be observed between the building line and the property boundary, water bodies, right of ways of infrastructure, facilities, and utilities. Now, we are going to mention some of these setbacks and what exactly is the amount of distance for you to avoid or for you to set back to your property boundary. So, for Federal Highway, we have 90 meters right of way, 45 meters from the center to the property line. Now, for State Highway, so they are different between uh, Federal Highway and State Highway, I'm sure you are able to differentiate what a Federal Highway is and a State Highway is. And for State Highway, the setback is 60 meters, 30 meters from the center to the property line. 60 meters, but 30 meters from the center to the property line. Now, for local roads, which you can also find within local governments or within the states, we have between 24 meters to the property line, 18 meters to the property line, 15 meters, 12 meters, 9 meters to the property line. So this varies based on the locality that you find yourself. Now, what if your building is close to an NMPC pipeline? You require at least 15 meters setback for that to happen especially if your property is close to a pipeline 15 meters this setback now what is the required setback for different body of waters so for an ocean or for a sea we have 150 meters setback to be observed for a lagoon we have 50 meters setback to be observed for a river we have 15 meters setback to be observed and for gorges we have 10 meters setback to be observed now what if your property is close to a rail line what is the required setback on this from the lagos state building control agency so for a rail line what is required is 21 meters setback for an unmanned rail line, what is required is 60 meters setback. Now, what if your property is close to a power line? What is the required setback for you to own a building or so that your property is not demolished in the future? Very important. For a 132 kV power line, you are required to set back your property to 15 meters away from this power line 15 meters away from this power line for a 300 kv power line you are required to set back by 25 meters right now for 11 by 33 kv power line you are required to set back between 5.5 meters so we have a 132 kV power line distance of 15 meters, 330 kV power line distance for um, 25 meters, and between 11 to 33 kV power line distance setback to be required is 5.5. Why is this setback necessary? Sometimes some of these utilities like the rail may derail and may come in contact with um, structures that are very close by and this is going to cause serious harm to life to investments in that location if anything happens to that rail now what of ocean sometimes we experience over flooding sometimes we experience um, high tides which can cause um, flooding or which can cause rivers or lagoons to 
cross their boundaries. Now, what happens if your property is just by the front of the lagoon or the river or the ocean or the sea? Just like we have lagoon here in Lagos, we also have the Atlantic Ocean here in Lagos. Are we observing the setbacks in our properties? Are we observing this 150 meter setback for our oceans? Of course, you know many of us want to own properties by the beachfront, but are we observing these setbacks? Because these are some of the situations that warrant the agencies to demolish properties. And when that happens, you begin to hear several outcries. Now, how about your homes? For federal highways, we have trucks that have derailed over time and plunged themselves into residential buildings, killing residents in an instant. Are we observing setbacks from these federal highways? And the required setback to be observed is 90 meters, 45 meters from the center to the property line. And for the state, what is required is 60 meters. Are we observing these setbacks? Some of these setbacks are for our own good. They are our, for our own safety, for our own livelihood. Are we observing the setbacks? Or are we building on the right of way? And when the government come to demolish properties that are on the right of way, what are the reactions we get from Nigerians who are affected? So these are some of the observations that we need to begin to apply so that we do not fall into this ongoing constant demolition currently happening in Lagos State. The rainy season is coming and also is the flood is coming. Is your property sitting on the drainage? Are you building your property on where is marked to be a drainage or a canal or um, a, a, for a provision for water to flow? These are some of the questions we really need to ask ourselves. And when you are buying land or when you are buying houses, are you also considering these factors? The house could be beautiful, but are you doing your due diligence to confirm if there is a permit on this project? And if there is a permit, are they permitted to build within this right of way of the federal road, state road, or the water bodies, or train, or power lines? Are we really considering these setbacks? Because these are some of the things that may cause harm to our lives, to the lives of others who may buy those properties from us. And if the government who is concerned about the safety of its citizens come to demolish some of these properties, although you may have gotten permits to build on them, but at the same time, are those permits right? Are you getting those permits from the right people? We know that there are several scammers who are parading themselves as authorities, giving permits to people to build homes very close to canals, building homes very close to waterways, building homes very close to federal highways. Are we observing these setbacks? Because at the end, when the government comes to enforce some of these rules or setbacks, some of our properties may be affected. So we should always look out for this fact. Always remember there is an amount of setback to be observed whether you are even building inside your own plot. There is a setback to be observed between your house to your fence, between your house to the next house. When you go to some places in Lekki and you see houses jam-packed, as if they are sardines, like the jam pack houses that somebody will open his window and from the next duplex, you can actually see the interior of the next house. Some of these setbacks are not being conserved. And when the authorities come to enforce these setback rules, some of us are being affected. And what is going to be the reaction? So, to avoid demolition of your properties, to avoid wasting your hard-earned money. There are some few basic things that we need to observe before you buy a property or before you ob obtain a permit to start building on your property. And this is coming from Montreal Properties YouTube channel. My name still remains Frank Elo, and it is our mission to make profitable investment properties available to all Nigerians. Thank you very much for watching our video. Do not forget to like, 
subscribe share this video and also drop your comments if you have any observation or you have any questions to ask thank you very much we look forward to hearing from you in our next video until then adios bye for now